It's part of the unaccompanied children program, which takes kids who've come across the United States border alone and works to find their families or eventually other suitable homes. The American Hebrew Academy will now be one of about 200 other sites across the country housing these children. The federal government leased the, leased the site for about five years, but each child only stays temporarily. Last year, the average length of stay at a site was about 30 days. 47% of the children were from Guatemala. The federal government government will provide all services to care for the children and they will have their own security. The American Hebrew Academy will be con contracted to provide education services. Guilford County Commission Chairman Skip Alston says it's welcome news for the vacant site and the community. It was made perfectly for this situation and we're dealing with our children. That's what we have to look into, look at also. These children didn't ask uh, to be put in those positions. Unfortunately, their parents uh, put them into those positions. Greensboro Mayor Nancy Vaughn said in a statement that, quote, it is a great opportunity for Greensboro to show our commitment to being a welcoming city. Up to 800 people will also be hired to work on the campus, including medical staff, teachers, and counselors. Hiring is currently underway, and they are in need of Spanish speakers. The federal government expects unaccompanied children to start arriving here at the Greensboro campus next month.